it's Key, and I've been wearing these crochet braids for about a week now. And I don't know if you can tell how sweaty and funky and stank I am, but trust me, I really am. Yeah, um, it's summer, and I have some weight loss goals in mind, and so I have started doing either Zumba or running three or four times a week, and I am sweating the devil out of this scalp of mine. And that's one reason I did these crochet braids. You know, I don't want to be worried about twisting my hair every night and sweating it out the next day. So I thought, well, this would be an easy way to keep my hair low maintenance, you know, protected, and you just sweat to my heart's content. The problem with that is there's all kind of salt on top of my scalp now, and that's happening, you know, every other day, which is kind of ridiculous. So after I get myself washed in that tub, because that's like, got to happen right now. That's, that's where it's priority. After I get the funk off of me, I'm gonna get it off my scalp. So I just wanted to pop in real quick. I know I'm in the middle of a video and I'm in the middle of creating a protective style but I have to announce the unexpected death in my hair arsenal, my natural hair family. Um, I was in the middle of creating a style, detangling my hair, dampening it, you know, going through it and all that kind of stuff when a tragedy occurred. Check out this foolishness right here. Y'all know my beloved water sprayer Look at the look at the thing here. What you the price tag? You can tell this is very very old. I can't. I don't even know what I paid for this. Two ninety nine apparently. I am in the middle of spraying when I dropped this thing. It broke. Now this used to be clear when I bought this thing, so that tells you it is very old. I have had this since college. It's got me through my entire adult life, my entire transition, the last three years of being natural. It has passed away. So rest in peace to my favorite sprayer you will be missed and replaced because a natural sister gotta have some water right how if you hear me so that's all back to the video y'all and i am smelling a whole lot better i mean <laughs> yes it is it, it is much better Woo! okay so this is how i'm going to take care of my hair today and um my goal for today is to cleanse my scalp and then to moisturize my real hair and um, then to seal in that moisture. So the first step that I'm going to do is I am going to cleanse my roots using a mixture of apple cider vinegar and water. First, let's get this scalp cleansed. I'm going to section my hair along the part and just clip it over. I've got eight parts in the front and four in the back. So I'm gonna take care of my front first. And the main reason I'm doing that part first is because apple cider vinegar stinks. As we say in the South, it stinks, okay? It does not smell good at all. It smells like pig feet. So I wanna get this whole front part just done and out of the way so I can stop smelling it. Here's my cotton round. And I'm just gonna take this and dab in the part. I'm dabbing along the part and sort of down into the braid itself but I'm not rubbing because I don't want to mess up my braid this ACV is really really good for breaking down any kind of buildup a really nice tingle um, because of the peppermint oil which I really really like um, and it is still damp but not wet or even close to wet um, so I consider it clarified it's clean enough you know for me to get through another week 
I'll probably do this once a week because um, my plan is to wear these crochet braids for three weeks and all. So one week down and two more to go. So now it's time for the moisturizing step. And so in this bottle, I have a little party going on. And speaking of party, I believe that when you come to a party, you're supposed to dance with the guy you came with. And the guy that I came to this party with is the sink conditioner and hair lotion. I used this to cornrow my hair a week ago. And um, so I'm gonna stay with it. to spritz my scalp liberally to try to give some moisture to my real hair. I'm not worrying about this Marley hair even a little bit because it's not real. So I'm not focusing on it. All right, so I've got my scalp my hair nice and moisturized. I feel it's really good and it's damp so it's going to dry overnight but to seal that moisture in I want to use my oil mixture. I started a castor oil challenge a couple of months ago and so I've got a blend of some castor oil and olive oil. It's one part to one part and I'm just going to smooth that down my parts in order to seal in this moisture and treat my scalp at the same time. So here we go with that castor oil treatment. I just ran it down the part. And then I'm just gonna smooth it in with my fingers. I'm gonna do that for every single part. And that's it, y'all. That is scalp nice and clean. My hair has been re-moisturized. the devil? You know what? Don't we always have some random pin in our head that we don't know anything about? Lord have mercy. Anyway, <laughs> clean scalp, moisturized scalp and hair, and now it is sealed in. And my scalp has been treated with castor oil. All right, so I am all done. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching, y'all.